Hey dudes and gents, I'm coming to you with a leather bookmark tutorial. And this is how they look. I had a request to do these. And these are some that I have hanging from my planner. So you could either have it hanging from your planner or you can have it um, Bible, book you're reading, whichever you need a bookmark for, okay? So this is how it's hanging off of my personal size planner that is a Webster Pages. Okay, so what you'll need are leather cording. I purchased mine from Michaels, but you can get it from all the craft stores. And um, you would want to keep, you want to keep in mind the size beads you have. If you have uh, a lot of beads that have the bigger holes, then get the fatter leather cording. Like this one right here is a fatter leather as it, in comparison to the one you see right next to it. So this one would have, you would have more of a selection of beads doing this one, but then the really fat ones you would get for this cording. I grab all sizes because I also do it for jewelry making. Okay, so that's one. Two, you want to make sure that you try all your beads on because sometimes you'll get beads and this bead will be bigger a hole than this bead. So put all your beads on the cording so you can make sure that when you start it, that you don't get to the end and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't fit this bead on this cording. Okay, so make sure you do that. Also too, helpful tidbit, at the very end, you don't wanna cut straight across. You wanna cut your cording at an angle so that when you're sliding it through your beads, it slides through much easier when it's a little bit pointy at the end. And then it just, it just goes through a lot easier on a bead. So see, this is a thicker type of cording that you know went through much easier due to, um, oh geez Louise, um, the fact that it was like cut at an angle. Now this camera is going to kill me. Okay. Apparently, after my last video, my camera decided it to be like, whatever, I'm done. So here is some other ones that I made. This is how they look. This is just a plastic bead from Hobby Lobby, but because it's super fun and pretty, this is all you need. You don't need to add a bunch of stuff on these ones. You want to keep them simple, a couple beads. These right here from Hobby Lobby as well. I just put them in there. I put no metal findings. You could put, there's like this would fit on there, but keep in mind because this is, um, it's costume jewelry type stuff, you know, it, it's not real. This will fade, it will tarnish. And then the whole bookmark is gone to waste because now you have metal beads on there that um, you are tarnished, but yet the everything else looks great. So if you're gifting them, that's gonna suck for that person that gets it and then the metal findings tarnish. When you're using jewelry and you're able, and you're making jewelry and you get these and they tarnish, if you built it, then you take that one apart and you add a new one, you know? So that's why it's not so bad when you're not using real gold, real silver type findings. But on a bookmark like this, you don't want to really use um, metal. Unless, you, unless you're okay with that and it's for you and you know you can cut it off and redo it. But if you're going to gift it, I'm going to assume that the person you're gifting it to won't know how to do that. So just a food for thought, okay? So see right here, I already have two big beads on here. These ones were purchased in, in LA. So they're like um, lamp work hearts. So due to that, they are, um, you see, they're not two of the same. They're not exactly the same since they're lamp work beads. These are made by hand. Okay, but I did slide them on because I wanted to make sure both of them fit on the cording. This one right here, I did the same thing. I slid through, I'm not gonna put them this way at the end, but I just wanted to make sure that this half is gonna do it. So like for instance, when I went and I purchased, um, oh good gracious, I purchased these three colors together at Michael's, okay? So when you see these three combo, that's where I got them from, okay? So that's pretty much it. And then um, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do it, no cutting because um, if you try to do it a size to your planner, it's you're going to lose product. And I find it just keep all of it like this. And then we're going to do it this way. Okay, so one, you want to make sure if it's a heart, you have it the right direction so that when it hangs out that it's hanging this way and not upside down. Okay, and then all you do is you are making a knot at the very, very end. Okay, so you have it at the very end. And then I'll cut that off at the, when I get to that. And then I have it hanging right here. Then I'm going to do another knot. And I'm going to put the whole thing through here. And then you see there it is. Then you're going to push it down. 
so that the bead doesn't move anywhere else. Okay, so now you have that one that side done. Then you're going to measure it. Okay, this is very important. Whatever book you're going to do it to, planner or whatever it is, you want to measure it and hang it from the, the end and see how you want it to dangle off. So I do it right there. Then I come over here. This is where I see that I want it to, the first knot to be, okay? This side, where you already did the dangle, you're gonna do the knot, okay? You're gonna push it all the way down to where you um, measured where you want it to be, okay? And then you push it down, and then there's your first knot. Now you have your bead out here. You push it up. Now you're gonna do um, your last knot, and this is where you're gonna have to drag the cording all the way through. But this way you lose no product and it's um, a sure fit this way, okay? So there's that one, okay? So now it'll fit my planner size, okay? Okay, so it'll hang, oops, it'll hang off of the edge. Okay, so that is how you do these and then you just cut it off. Okay, so you want to make sure you test it. So let's say you didn't do it right. Well, these knots are not permanent. Okay, and then all you have to do is unloosen it. Let's say you didn't measure it right. So loosen this knot or take this knot off. And then now you have this one knot still that's okay. And you're like, well, you know what? It's like, for instance, look at, I have it right here. But then look at where this knot is. Okay, so that means that apparently I moved and didn't do it the right way. So now we need to undo the knot. Now when I use leather, I like to use leather as opposed to plastic cording. I just don't like it. I prefer, I love the smell of leather. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to loosen it up. Now we're going to go ahead and remeasure again. So here it is here. I didn't take out the whole knot completely, so I'm just pushing it down a little bit. And now I'm measuring how I want it um, at the very end. So it's kind of like you just really have to guesstimate on how you do the knot to make sure. So see right here, it hits here and then there's the knot there. I'm okay with that. Now I can go ahead and put this heart through here and then redo the end like that. So it's never permanent until you cut this. And then you're like, oh my gosh, you just lost all your leeway, okay? So then when I open my planner and I slide this through, if I can, oh geez, okay. Now I have it hanging off of here on this side. It's hanging off of here. So that for me is good. So now I can go ahead and cut it and I'm okay with, um, with how these are. Okay, so you just go ahead and you cut. And that's it, you just wanna make sure they're really tight. Because they're knots, you can always re, um, redo the knot. And there you go. So you just, I choose, like I said, I choose to use real leather on these only because um, I don't, I just don't like the fake one. <laughs> But keep in mind, even when you buy leather, like these, um, the ones I got that are colored are real leather, it's painted. We already know leather doesn't really come in this color. So you gotta be very careful that you don't scratch it off. When you get this kind, you're safe because this is the real leather color. So like for instance, this one right here, I went ahead and I have brown. This is a dark brown, but it's leather, okay? So for this one right here, I'm gonna take off the three because I already know they fit. This is how I wanted it stacked. You do the very end, and then you pull it all the way to the end, okay? And because it's a little thicker, you might wanna take your little part and then pull, give it a good pull, because this one right here, you know you're not gonna to need to redo. It's your starter one, and that's how that hangs. Then you do another knot, and you put everything through, and then you push all the way down, and then there is your first one, okay? Then we're going to get our beads and then we're going to start all the way at the very end. All right. And I already pre-cut these to be pointy and to fit through. So now I got to make sure that I do it the exact same style because sometimes you're just court putting them on and you're not paying attention. So I have this pretty little 
plastic. Oh, wait, no, I didn't cut it. I thought I did. All right, let's go ahead and angle cut that again. And then I have, oops, I have this one right here. And what in the world? It was just on, okay, there we go. I was gonna say, what? no way I was about to have a cow. Okay, so you get this one. This is what I had on first. Then I had this one with a really big hole. And because it's so big, you can't do the knot. You have to have another bead at the bottom. And we're gonna use this other bead. So this is the stack I have it, okay? We're gonna pull them all the way down, okay? Because it's long, I'm, I can't really show you on um, camera. And we're gonna pull all the way down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna measure it to the size of my planner. So I have this part hanging off, and then this is the part right here. So I'm gonna get this part right here, and then when I tie that knot, remember, you're not gonna tie it from the end that's loose, you're gonna tie it from this end where you already have it done. Okay, and you're gonna pull it all the way to where your finger is. And before you tighten it, make sure it's hanging here and see where this knot is right here? It's not enough space. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna loosen it up and then, I don't want those beads to fall out. And then you're gonna pull it down even more. Okay, so I have this hanging here and then right here is my knot. It's hard to sell because, tell because it's dark brown. And now I can go ahead and tighten it because now I'm good with how the knots are sitting. Knot is here, knot is here. The beads are still on, okay? And then there they are. And now we're gonna tie another knot, okay? This side, we're gonna tie the knot on the loose end where all of the cording is. And this is where we're gonna seal it off, okay? Perfect. Super fast, super easy. Then we're gonna cut it right there, and then that's that. Now we have another one done. See how fast these are? Once you get that concept down, you are golden, all right? Now, my planner's always got a punt show stuff going on. So see how this is just hanging out there? Super, super pretty. These are gorgeous gifts. You can double them up and you see how I have them here. You just don't want to add a bunch of stuff and keep it just, you know, a couple beads, nothing major. Super fun, really easy and great gifts. I absolutely love this type of stuff hanging. Look at me. I mean, seriously, I'm like a mess. I like everything just like beautifulness and cuteness just thrown up all out of my planner. <laughs> you forget the real function of your planner because there's just so much cuteness going on. Okay, so and then that's how you do it. That's all. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that helped you out. Just grab all your beads and check to see which ones. Make sure you test.